Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Good to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. Questions continue to swirl tonight over the deadly police shooting of 26 year old Dexter Reed last month. Investigators say Reed initiated a shootout with police, but now COPA is questioning the traffic stop to begin with and whether the officers are being truthful. CBS 2's Chris Tai is live with why calls for their police powers to be stripped are emerging as their history is now being examined. Chris. Joe and Erica, in those tense seconds prior to gunfire, police zeroed in on the tinted windows of Dexter Reed's truck. Roll it down, they said, since it was hard to see through. But COPA now saying that hard to see through window makes it hard to believe the officer's rationale for pulling him over. They say it's because they saw through that window that he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Copa's boss says until this gets sorted out, those officers should be stripped of police powers. Those are some pretty strong words. Yes, they are, and I don't, I don't make those recommendations or requests lightly. Three and a half weeks before this deadly shootout, the same team of five tactical officers in plain clothes and unmarked cars pulled over a different vehicle in Chicago. These officers have been engaged in traffic stops that have led to other civilian complaints that our office has received. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability says it has an open investigation into another traffic stop involving the same five officers, which occurred less than a month prior to this incident and was purportedly also based on a seatbelt violation. COPA is currently investigating that complaint. And now COPA has called into question the believability of the officer's seatbelt rationale for pulling Reed over. Roll the windows down. Chicagoans should, should look at this video release that they saw yesterday and be dismayed by the, the set of circumstances that officers found themselves in and that Dexter Reed ultimately lost his life during. Is there a pattern here where officers are using the cover of a traffic stop to achieve other means or ends? I think we're too uh, early in the stages of this investigation to make those kinds of statements, but uh, the public should be assured that we are looking at all of this information for just that purpose. And all of us were shooting. Okay. Between the videos already released, interviews and analysis conducted the night of the shooting, COPA is hoping to get a clearer picture of why a tactical team of five engaged with Reed 20 nights ago. There may be other interviews uh, that have to occur as well to understand what brought the officers to performing traffic stops as tactical officers in the 11th district. COPA and CPD agree Reed fired first, striking an officer in the process. But COPA is looking to see if there's a missing piece that may explain why the officers were pursuing a man they say was unfamiliar to them. That's exactly what we are seeking to sort of unravel, whether there is missing information and if so, what? While COPA recommended it, they don't believe those officers have been stripped of police powers. They are, however, on a 30 day paid leave. Chicago police declined our interview request today, but said this shooting remains under investigation by COPA with the full cooperation of the Chicago Police Department. We cannot make a determination on this shooting until all the facts are known and this investigation has concluded. Live in the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Joe. Chris, thanks.